What's going on YouTube? It's Kevin and Dennis. We are here to discuss the season finale of R&B Divas Season 2. You alright? Yeah, I'm making Uh-huh, he getting his little text message. No! Uh-huh! Ain't nobody, ain't nobody I was, got time. I was for making that. sure my phone was on for so when Lila was on. Uh-huh, yeah. Don't mm. say that. <laughs> okay, who is that? Okay! Ain't nobody got time for that because so, I'm fixing to go in. Okay? I'm ready to go in. I done got my soup on my damn shorts and everything. But I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, we're here, again, we're here to discuss the season finale of season two of RB Divas. And Leela James is supposed to call in. And you know we got some questions for her about this season of the show. But let's get into it before she call. Because last week Lil Mo called into the show. And basically she talked a lot of stuff about uh, Shantae Moore, how Shantae Moore was being uncooperative with the girls, how she was being very distant from everybody, how she just changed and she wasn't the Shantae Moore that she knew. And, you know, Little Mo also discussed how, you know, how that made her feel and everything. And she said that everything that, that's going on is going to come out next week and we will understand where everybody is coming from. And even though we did see at the end of the episode where everybody got a chance to sit down and talk, it still looked, can you turn that sound off? It still looked very petty to me, just like last week. And you know what? If a bitch ain't speaking to me, even if I got to do a show with them, I am not going to be that mad and that irate with that person. Okay? They... Fuck, fuck all the um the the drama we're trying to get the damn the, the the uh the performance together. Fuck that part. Let's talk about when they go to this trip up this damn hill. Okay, so they take the trip up the hill. It's just Chrisette, Shantae, and Little Mo. So they get up there and call that it's. Not called that. What's her damn name? Chrisette. Oh, She's sitting up there talking and indirectly about stuff, trying to fish to get Shantae to talk. No. Since we at the top of this hill and since we're here, let me tell you something. I want to bury the hatchet. I want to bury everything that's going on with us. I want to leave it right here in Puerto Rico. I don't want to take it back to Los Angeles. That's what... Chrisette should have said Basically, that's to what she Shana, said, though. That's not, she, she spoke indirectly. No, she made a good analysis. Chrisette made, no, Chrisette uh -huh. made a good analysis about leaves falling off the trees and the leaves turning into dirt and then seeds growing in the dirt Girl, and leaving it there. Don't no. nobody want to hear don't those words and shit. shit. Don't nobody want to hear that. Look, look, if you got a problem with me, say what's your problem. What is the problem with these girls? They can't talk and say what their problem is. I have a problem with you. And my problem with you is that I feel that you just shut me down all the time. Or you always trying to be smart with me. Like when we was doing the uh we was doing a rehearsal for the stage and I talked about how I was gonna wear my seven-inch Louis with what? Uh, whatever red bottoms. And you said me too. Talk about how she made you feel. Stop doing all this indirect. And but she buried in the sunlight. No, she didn't get a chance to get Once there they at that sat time. Down, That's because little Mo opened her mouth. But Chrisette wanted to be talking all indirectly. And ain't nobody got time for that. If you have a problem with me, I need you to come say it straight up to my face. Remember when you had a problem with me and you wanna write me a damn letter? I said, don't be writing me no letters. You got a problem with me. You need to talk to me and tell me what your motherfucker. Okay, now here now, now here's the problem. Kevin, you need to realize that you are you and everybody else is everybody else and they handle situations different. Okay, I wrote you a letter. From Coming from my point of view, that was the best way to talk to you, to get to you. Because, first of all, can't nobody talk to you without you cutting them off, without you getting all around you and walking away. As soon as they say I don't something, as soon, 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 soon as they say something you don't want to hear, the conversation is over. No, it's not. Yes, it no, is. No, it's not, because yes, I'm going to defend myself yes, and then I'm going to yes, let you But what you, what you need to realize is, Kevin, that you are Kevin, you are the scorpion, and you handle, no, situations, Kevin. You handle situations the way you handle. And let everybody else handle them and go about them the way that they Will. Just so because you do something. it doesn't mean X, Y, and Z should if do it. If you had a problem with somebody, 
like for instance, me and Mikhail had an issue. First of all, me and Mikhail had never texted each other about a problem that we ever had. Mm -hmm. Anytime we ever had a problem is face to face and we discuss it. Ain't nobody got time to be beating around no fucking bush. Just come out and say what the problem is. And that's a problem that all of these divas are having. Okay? They don't know when to say it to that person. They want to go tell uh, Leela or they'll tell, um, what's her name? Um, oh, Michelet, Michelet. They always talk to the other person instead of going straight to that person. And and you I say agree. everybody, you might, no, you, you say agree. everybody is different. Everybody is everybody different. Is but what different. you just said, I but agree. But you know what? If everybody said how they felt to the other person, there will be lot a lot less stress and drama going on. Because soon as you start talking to somebody else about the issue that you have with somebody, they'll go off and say it to somebody else and they'll misconstrue what you said and turn it around and make it something totally different. Right. And then they tell that person and that person gonna go back to right. the person you're talking about and then they're gonna be like, oh, so what did you say to so-and-so? Because I heard that you told this person and that person told that person and that person told me that you said blah, 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 blah and then they done said it all different. That's why you gotta go direct to the fucking source but catch, and say but, what the but, problem but catch this day. Remember what I said last week? A little more. I said, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like that somebody is getting in Shantae's ear to make her pull back the way she's pulling back. Well, that's, we that's don't what know. I thought. We don't know, but that's what, that's what it looked like. It looked like, like. it looked like somebody was telling, oh, like so she's not talking to nobody. Yeah. But, and, and then Lil Mo said that, that nobody in production is allowed to do that kind yeah. of talk. But that's what it looked but like I think to they me. Do set, I do think that they set up scenes, but they can't tell you yeah. what to say, how to feel, and, and all of that stuff. Well, that, um, but they still looked, okay, Lil Mo got mad. Out, Shantae, you talked about Shantae cutting you off and everything, but it it was it, it just made them still look bad because y'all turning up and Shantae is not even feeding off your energy or she's not even giving you anything to feed off of for you to get like that and get all hyped up like that. What what is that all about? Shantae it's something she deeper. It. It's something deeper, and they both not talking about it. And I'm waiting to hear back from Shantae. It's something deeper. That makes you go off. That makes you want to fight somebody. Because you just don't want to just fight nobody. Because they're not talking to you. It's something deeper. It, it's, to, it's something deeper. It's, it's, it's something it's, deeper. It, it is something deeper. And, I, and it's a lot that we're not seeing. That's why it's something deeper. But only thing I have to say is. More than one person. Isn't going to say the exact same thing. About one person and be wrong. All them ladies had the exact same thing to say about Shante. Except for Claudette. Now. All the ladies ain't gonna be wrong. Claudette is different. Claudette is a person that, to me, she don't just pick a side. And that's something that you said that you thought that she picked a side. I don't think that she picked a side. Claudette is friendly to all. Everybody. She gonna have no issues with nobody on this show. She didn't even have issues with nobody on the first season of she the didn't. show. She was We didn't really get her tell, on the first season. Or, we didn't know what was going on and what made her so sad all the time. Every time we seen her, her eyes, you could just see sadness on her eye. And this time, this season, she's more vibrant, she's upbeat, she's in the studio, she's making a video, like she's she's out mm -hmm. there grinding, she's out there doing her thing. She's like, look, I want y'all to come to my parents' house or my family house in Puerto Rico. Everybody had a good time. But like she said, I noticed that as soon as Shantae started singing, they all they all was making faces and stuff like that to, to uh Shantae. And maybe that turned her off. Like, don't like is the time and a place for everything. Don't do this while we at my family house and we all trying to have a good time. I'm gonna tell like, you what it was. That. Well, well, I'm, I'm going to tell you what it was. Yeah, Shantae, since you Shantae and Claudette was both on one accord. And Leela, Lil Mo, Michelle and Chrisette, all of them was on one accord. But, back to tonight's episode, that last scene, it did come off to me as if Claudette was picking sides. When... Claudette spoke up and she said something to Chrisette. And like she said something and, you know, let's fix it. It came off as if, you know, she was taking Shantae's side. My whole thing is when you're in a setting situation like that, when you're in a group like that, you stay mutual, you stay neutral. And I felt like in that particular scene, she did not stay mutual, neutral. 
And that's why Lil Mo said, no, all of a sudden you want to speak up and say something. You should have been said something. No, she like say that's she the point. She should have been said something. She should no for real. You all right, said no, it. Oh, no, I'm gonna, I'll let you I'll let you talk. Go ahead. No, but you you just sat right here and said they need to talk and say there something right there. There is a waited. time and a place. You're contradicting yourself. Listen, no, there you're contradicting is, yourself. How I contradict myself? Because how you gonna sit right here and say they need to say something right then and there, but then you gonna turn around and say you're not time see, and place. What's, the way you're acting is just like how Claudette is feeling. Because bitch, as soon as I say something, y'all not let me get my point across. That y'all not let me finish. You just jump. Oh, you being contradicted. Like I said, there's a time and a place for everything. Where they're eating at, that is the perfect time to get off of your chest and say what's going on. Everybody know that we came here to do this motherfucking show, okay? We came here for the show. Meanwhile, before the show, we had all of this drama going on. So instead of addressing it at, at the times where you could talk to somebody one-on-one, -on -one, Claudette is saying, okay... All right, y'all, you know, there's a time and a place for everything. And what I have noticed about you, um, Chrisette, is that you have just been a little bit distant, okay? As soon as she said, oh, you've been distant, little Ma want to make a face. Oh, and then she gets, oh, let me get up, let me go ahead and pray, and all of this stuff. Why are you even turning up like that? For what? Let the girl say what's on her mind. As soon as she starts saying what's on her mind, Everybody wants to go all oh, la la this and all this and that, all this and that, and that's all right. I'm a, cause I'm gonna I'm gonna get to my point, cause I'm gonna get back to my point. I gotta turn my damn speaker on. Hey, Leela, hold on one second. I'm talking about you guys. Hold on, I th hold on. I think I think you might have oh. to take your damn going. Hold on, Leela. I think you need to take okay. that case off. You hung up on her? Let's call her right back. You know, hung up on her. Oh, I had it on speaker for yeah, this I think it's supposed to be on speaker. Ooh, no, yeah, she'll call back. She'll call back. Yeah. So, okay, so they all sitting there, she's going off and everything, and she's like, well, now when I say something, you know everybody wants to get on me. It's not the point that she had to curse out Claudette and everything. Claudette was mutual to everybody. She didn't She didn't take sides. She just let everybody talk, and she let everybody say what was on their mind. But now when she wants to say something, they all attacked her at the table, especially Chrisette. Chrisette got upset because, oh, now you coming at me. She, it wasn't that she was coming at her. Hello? Hello? What's going Not on, Lila? <laughs> we sorry. Look, Den 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 Dennis all hanging up on you because you know he mad at me for cursing his ass out right now. You know, I got to I got the I got to get on him about this episode. <laughs> he getting on me like I was there. <laughs> well, you know, uh, he uh, talking about uh, Oh, we talking about this table scene where y'all sitting at the table and everybody is turning up. At the table. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> so you was there, so give us some feedback. I mean, it is what it is. I saw what it was. And, um, you know, basically, it was it was just a lot of tension and build-up stuff. A lot of things that um, the viewers didn't see. But, um, you know, people are human with real feelings and whatnot. And when you're taken for several weeks and things are happening, you know, during those those periods, those times, it's only you know natural that sometimes you know stuff ain't gonna always be sweet, and you gotta keep it one hundred. But you you can't um, disrespect folks in the process, and a lot of things was taking place like off camera that um, was offensive, you know, and and was rubbing folks the wrong way. And so when the cameras came on, a lot of times you caught the the reactions and the results of you know what was already had already taken place mm -hmm. and um you know it was a lot of you know switching up and things fake stuff but it's 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 natural again for folks to uh you know react after a while there's only so much any one person can take even when they got the the best of intentions and vibes you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so how did you not so, turn up like that on the show like with um 
what's her name? I keep getting all, it's too many C's. Yeah, Shantae. Because we know how she oh. tried to make y'all do the background thing and had y'all sign off. And I loved how you was like, I'm not just signing off on anything. I don't care how many years you've been in the business. But that's the only time yeah. I've seen y'all, you know, really have a confrontation. How did you avoid uh, Shantae? Cause I ain't tripping off the soundtrack. She ain't, it ain't that deep for me. Like I, I told, I told it to her face how I felt many times, and you know, uh, we had uh, a moment off camera. It rubbed me wrong, and she, you know, and I addressed it and and, and handled it like that. Um, and I, you know, that that's just how I get down. That's how I roll, and and um, I don't know, I don't know what to say on it, like. She was just, she, it was, she wasn't really worth, like, me losing sleep like that. I, I told her to her face, I was like, I don't take your stuff home like that. Like, right. I ain't really going to sleep over you. Like, for real. I'm grown, I'm just as grown as she is. And, yeah, she's been in the game, but I've been in the game for a minute, too. So, that, that kind of, like, a lot of them antics never moved me. And I just felt like it was times where, you know, she kind of was just craving attention. You know what I mean? It's bothers me like, let me get this pepper a hook and tell her about you and whatever. I ain't about you when I'm like that. Listen, Leela, <laughs> I, I, I just sat right here and said before you called, I said more than one person isn't going to say the same thing about another person and be wrong and or lying. My question to you is, do you think Shantae was strategic on her actions and what she was doing on and off camera? Because now, being a viewer just watching, it does look like mm -hmm. it does look like you ladies were being mean girls and were nitpicking. But at the end of the day, I know better. Oh, I, I, I don't know. No, I was. I ain't no mean girl. I know, but I was saying. Being put on, I was I, saying. I, I won't be putting that character because I I call that spade a spade. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's grown in in high school, and it wasn't no no situation where I was thinking anybody was nitpicking because everybody had their own issues individually with her. It's like if to be honest. It was moments where nobody was rocking with her, and I was still trying to get her the benefit of the doubt. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm that type. I'm like, I don't give a dog on who ain't rolling. I, I judge and treat people the way they treat me, and also my own experiences with them. So I came in with an open, clean slate with her. You know what I mean? Until she, like, you know, came to me kind of sideways, like I said, off camera. Then I had my mom in any kind of just move me, move me in a different direction in terms of how I feel you. But I ain't I don't hate you. I might not like all your ways, but I ain't got no hate. I ain't trying to like, you know, wish no bad on you. I just maybe I don't rock with you like that. That's it. That's how I roll. You know right. what I mean, um I just think that some of her her antics with some of the other ladies just was like really magnified and, and really, really did, you know, it they did run folks wrong because she was doing the most at the time. <laughs> Do you think <laughs> Do you think Shantae was strategic on what she did on and off camera to make you guys react a certain way on camera and make her look a certain way? Because from what I'm hearing and from what I'm getting, a lot of a lot of her actions took place off camera, and what we got mm -hmm. was you guys' reaction to her actions on camera. Right. I definitely think um, Shantae is a very calculating and, and she loves to play games. She's a grown, bleak woman, so she 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 aware of of a lot of her surroundings and what's going on. She ain't stupid. So I could yeah, I could see how that could be a factor. You know what I mean? Like she she ain't dumb. She she knows she's she she awake. She very much so awake. She ain't sleeping. Yeah, but I, you know, I, I'm just telling Dennis that okay, if a person's not speaking to me or or is being mm -hmm. distant from me, I'm not gonna turn up like that. To me, when, right. when, when I seen Little Mo on camera, it was like she was always saying something, making a face. Oh, I'm not teaching her this and I'm not teaching her that. To me, it it goes deeper than a damn picture. Well, it, to well me. again, well, again, again, it was a, a lot of things that didn't get captured on camera and they, they had their own issues. Well, you, so well, some of what you, some of what you, the, the public and the viewers saw, yeah, it might appear, you know, a little one-sided or like, oh, like, that's a little much on this end. But a lot of stuff was just, just not captured. And they definitely had things that were taking place, well, you know, that we didn't see. Shantae knows what she's doing, and I love it because they are just turning up 
and she's just standing there and just not giving them what they want. If you can't give me no energy to feed off of, I'm not going to turn up. Like, they were just upset. With me, the the corset thing, she getting up and leaving. I, of course, we don't know everything that was said at that table. But to right. me, to me, I think Claudette was being fair. And I don't think she had a chance to finish what she was saying before she was being attacked. And I know that she knows what's going on and everything. But I don't think that she literally picked a side. She was just going off her observation. And then, it, to me, it felt like everybody turned against her. But it, but she's always been supportive to everybody. So I don't think... Go ahead. You was about to say something? No, go ahead. No. So I'm, so I'm saying that she's just saying how she felt, and then she got attacked for it. So... That's what, you know, that's what me and Dennis Well, I think, about. In it, well, in that moment, what took place with Claudette and Cassette was really just a, a, a series of people talking and a lot of misunderstandings and just, again, a buildup of energy and frustration because they ain't even had nothing. They, they, they was cool, like, the whole season, you know what I mean, from mm -hmm. what I could tell. Again, I just felt like, you know, by the time... We sat down at that table. Folks was tired. You know what I mean? I'm the person that I was over. I didn't even want to do it. But I knew it was about to be some bull. Like, it was, <laughs> I didn't. For real. I mean, I knew it. I said that. I was like, you know. And, and I can tell when, you know, people do certain things, you know, to attract attention. And just like, if, like, if you don't feed into that, into stupidity, it can't grow. You know what I mean? So I wasn't even interested Honestly, having that December issue, I'm gonna eat. I like to eat, so I was hungry. Let's go through that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's what it is. Me and, and, and it, it, I, I think you know they just had a little moment of misunderstanding. So, but with everybody else and you know, um, Shante, I think it was just a, again a build up of a series of. Events that occurred, some were on camera, but a lot of stuff was off camera. You know what I mean? And that's just, that's real talk. So, so let's talk about you joining the show. What made you uh, join R&B Divas LA? Sure, it's good exposure. You know, I've been in the game for a minute. Hello, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come at me, Leela. <laughs> and um no you know I, i've been around for a while and you know i have a, a solid um uh, fan base and underground followers and supporting me for you but there's a you know a whole new audience and just a, a audience in, in general that may not be familiar with me because you know artists like myself we're not necessarily always played on the commercial level or we or we're not considered commercially successful because if you don't hear us on the radio like you know, some other artists, but we working just as hard out here and, 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 and just as much, you know what I'm saying? Um, touring, I'm everything. I can name several artists, you know. We are considered the quote unquote neo soul type of artist, but um, I just felt like it would be a great platform to um, expose my music to a larger audience. And then just rest for, for the, other, um, the other artists like myself that's been in the game for a and you know, we just want to be heard as well, that's so all. Well, um, it's about that easy. Leela, I just want to say, I've known of you and been a fan of your music before R&B Divas LA. Um, I believe it was 2004 when I was introduced to you when your song Music came out and everybody was saying that you was the female James Brown. Like, you got to hear the <laughs> Leela James, you got to hear Leela James, and then you, um, it was music, and then you had this song, Good Time, and then I remember watching. Yeah, that came out, and actually it was like, it's been a minute, dang, Ooh. Yeah, but, but yeah, that was 05. Yeah, but I remember you from back then. Like I was, I was a good, every bit of, um, 17, 18 years old when I first, you know, became known of you, and I love your, your voice, your music, your control, and even though everybody else say, you give them the female James Brown, I'm going to piggyback off that and say that you do give me the female James Brown, or I can see why they would say that. Mm -hmm. But Yeah, that's, I, I ain't mad at that. I give, I give James Strucker, Diddy, the right. all of them if you want to shoot. Because yeah. them Negroes could sing, and they had real careers, so yeah. I'll take it. Yes, they did, but I want to get back to the show. Earlier in the <laughs> season, you got a lot of flack okay. because you didn't, you felt like, 
we don't need therapy. Like, you was like, we don't need to go to no therapy. Like, you went, but your whole thing is you didn't want to be there. And I got where you was coming from because I'll be the same way. I don't need, I don't need, hey, hey, I can shake this. We don't need therapy. Like, ain't nothing really going on that deep for us to need therapy, especially yeah. about season one. Do you want to elaborate on that? And talk about that because the viewers of the show, you know, um, I think I was one of them people that was upset. With yeah, you can, even <laughs> Kevin was upset. Yeah, that you always upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but do you want to elaborate and talk about that? About you not wanting to, um, you know, go to therapy? Oh well, I think it was. I mean, I, I was. I didn't realize it was like not self explanatory But if you like, if, after watching, the, you know, the remainder of the season. I think y'all can kind of get a feel for my personality, which is really kind of like, I ain't really tripping off of dumb stuff. It ain't got nothing to do with me. Yeah. And I felt like in that moment in time, you know, the therapy wasn't necessary to call and write a cotton chicken song. Right. And it's not that I'm not for therapy. Hell, I, I got a lot of folks need therapy. I probably need it for something, but I don't need it to write a song. Neither and for I that. felt like he didn't need it for that particular situation. Not to mention, I understood, and I know Chrisette has a good heart and she's sensitive, but I know, like, really, the person that needs to be here because that's where they, the people that got beef with each other, each and this is right now, they're not even going to be here. They're not even there. Right. So, you know what I mean? Like, we, like, listen, let's go to the studio and work on some music. Let's be productive. Like, you know, let us talk to therapy by ourselves. Like, I ain't, I ain't tripping off us. I ain't worried about you. So I ain't tripping off, you know what I mean? I ain't trying to stay the whole world now. I care, but golly, that's just where I was coming from with that. Like, there's someone in the studio. It ain't got nothing to do with whether I feel like therapy don't work and this kind of stuff, but we didn't need it, in my opinion, for that moment in that particular situation. Well, what I got from it was that you were saying that I don't have no problem, so I don't need to be in no damn therapy. That's y'all. Like, y'all can go, but I don't need to go. That's what I got from it. It was something, no, I was saying, we don't need therapy to write a song. Right. Now, mm -hmm. that's what it, that was where I was coming from, like, when you, you can, in, in woman to woman, in women to women, if there's real issues and beats and all that kind of stuff, where I come from, it's just like, you tell me to straight up, oh, excuse me, you tell me to straight up. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it is, and you know, most people yeah. just watch this, and I think you just, you know, yeah. you keep it moving. See, you know, see, it's wrong. this is something but, I was know, just telling Dennis about. Because I'm like, if I have a problem with you, I'm coming to you. That's something I do appreciate about you on this show. If you if you had something to say, you said it to that person. When you was at the table, you looked right on over down that table to Shantae and told her, yeah, you do change up a whole lot. And, and, and I didn't see you talking to all these other people about Shantae on this show like I've seen other people. I say, who has time for that? you have a problem, go to that person and say it. So. Yeah, I think I just think like therapy is definitely necessary for certain situations, but in a situation like that, at that time, I didn't think that it was necessary. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's it. I mean, you know, folks really need help. At, at the same time, if y'all watch me, the, 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 the episode that following week, you know, Myself and Lil Mo was intervening on behalf of Miss Shalay because she was in need, you know what I'm saying? So there's times when, yeah, like if people got real life issues, real stuff going on, like where, you know, help is absolutely necessary and needed, but you don't waste nobody's time and money on some, you know, silly stuff. Um, Lila, um, I just want to say, coming from a place where, you know, I was, you know, going through a lot and I was like sad and semi-depressed and thought about mm -hmm. suicide, I just want to thank you for doing what you did for um, Michelle, you and Lil Mo. Y'all intervening, y'all jumping in, like... I just want to say thank you because a lot of people don't want to talk about suicide and they ignore the, right. they ignore the signs. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't ignore the signs and who knows where Miss Shalay would be right now if it wasn't for y'all. So I just want to say thank y'all. Uh, well, thank you for saying thank you, but no, that's, that's what it is. I would, I would hope that somebody would do that for me if right. I was in that type of situation. You know, um... Yeah, again, that that's, that that time in a situation that was a situation where I could see, oh, right, therapy is necessary or intervention is necessary. You know, that's, that's real. You know what I mean? Like that's serious. Like everything else was like, ah, okay. 
I got another question. I was trying to be like I said, a team player. You know what I mean? I try to just, you know, support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, the um, the scene where because you got a lot of flex from this also. I don't know if they tweeted you or did you see it, but the scene when you was doing the interview, I I think it was Madame Noir. Oh wow! And you <laughs> and you were getting like you know. I understood where you was coming from. My whole thing was, if y'all inviting me to interview me and talk about my music, and, you, and we talk about everything except my music, yeah, I would get frustrated too. But, you know, a lot of people were saying you were mean, you were rude. Do you want to talk about that and elaborate on that? <laughs> um, Like, whatever. Like, for real, cats on me, I ain't mean, I ain't rude. I am definitely funny. <laughs> like, I'm funny. Like, I'm funny. Like, like, I'm funny. 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 Like, i am i am what we're doing, and I know what I'm working with, I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? But don't call me in for one thing, and when I get there, it's something else. Like, I ain't cool with that. And that's all that was. Like, if, if I know that I walk into this is what we're going to do, we establish that, we agree upon that, then that's what it's going to be. But don't, don't try to play me out. Like, I ain't no sucker. Right. Because <laughs> you see, I get, I get labeled um, for being biased because I see what people don't see. I see the bigger picture and then next thing you know, I'm biased. Oh, because you're so, Mo feeding him all the information. That's why. I, actually, so, she's not. Actually, she's not. Uh, but, uh, but I can see the bigger picture. <laughs> um, but, but, and you know what? Like, and, 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 and so I can be also clear to the people who like, oh, well, Lisa don't want to talk. Listen, I talk, if, if, if you know what I'm saying, if we agree about it and we make it cool and yeah, this is what I'm down to talk about, I'll talk about it. I'm just saying, if we talk about something that we ain't gonna talk about and then you bring it up and I react to it, don't be surprised. Mm -hmm. Like, don't be surprised. I'm saying, like, I'm human like the next person. You ain't gonna just talk to me crazy and ask me crazy stuff that's just better. You ain't my mama. <laughs> and my mama say certain things to me. You sure ain't gonna say nothing to me. I ain't came out your, you know what? Right. I came out her. <laughs> you just look like you had better things to do that day besides that interview. It was like, why am I here? Okay, I'm, I'm you know, ready to no, go. I, I, I'm, I'm doing an interview with y'all. Late night, my little baby running around here like, okay, mama, let's go do this. Like, mm -hmm. So it's not, you have children too? I got a little girl, yes. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. how old is she? I'm saying, like, so I, I do interviews. I do interviews all day. I've been doing interviews since I've been in this industry, in this game. It's not a matter of whether I will do an interview, but I'm saying I'm not with that dumb stuff. Like, right. no, I don't want to get pulled into no silly, petty crap. If, if the interview was proposed to me from the standpoint, we're going to talk about your new album, what you got working on the project, that's what I'm going in here for. Don't ask me no silly stuff, trying to start some dumb stuff that ain't got nothing to do with you. <laughs> exactly. But people don't get that. People don't understand it and they don't get that, which is understandable because they're not you and they're not in the industry, but they're looking at it and they're like, oh, why is she being rude and why is she being mean? But I'm like, hold on, they're not asking about music or whatever. Well, I'll be like, and, they don't, and, and they don't, once again, ain't putting it off on, you know, uh, Instagram or Facebook or nothing like that. Like, they're going to see it and they're going to see it so much in these um, episodes. So, you don't know what might what might have taken place prior to that scene, <laughs> and me being the type of cat that I am, I, I don't, I don't, my emotions and stuff. What? I'm on the phone. I can't. If she want me, Julia, <laughs> see, what's the little Tulu? Why you want to lose this late at night? Oh. Oh my gosh, okay, hold on. You keep saying late at night, you in know, LA. It's only probably about 9 o'clock. 8.30. No, but that's late. That's late for a little three-year-old. She needs to be asleep. I don't she know that's right. <laughs> See, she would be asleep if I wasn't on the phone with y'all. But anyway, what I'm saying is, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, you don't know what might have taken place prior to that transpired. And I wear my emotions on my face. I can't face the phone. You know what I mean? It is what it is with me, whether the cameras are on or not. So, you know, on that, at that, on that day, it was words exchanged. And so I was sitting there like, now I'm ready to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the South South. Right. So what? So what's going on with this tour manager? And if you're still looking for one, I don't have any experience, but I definitely would, <laughs> would uh, be your tour manager for you. 
You know what? Uh, I don't know what happened to that that prospect. I wish her well. I hope it all is well with her. I have someone right now that I'm kind of, you know, working with, and it's going okay so far. And, uh, you know, I, I'm still keeping all my eyes open in, in case this one don't work out. <laughs> so listen, Leela. Wait, wait, wait. Tell, I'm going to uh, talk about this new album that you released in July. Yes. Can you can you tell us that's about my album? Yeah, that's my sixth album, "Fall for You." Actually, I know y'all probably like what, whatever, but um, I yeah, um, <laughs> I know, you. I didn't know. <laughs> Why didn't nobody know, Leela, that you had an album that came out? Why? Yes, I, I think the show could at least put the little. The little bumper like they did for the well, R&B Divas Atlanta. Gonna, I'm not going to say, well, listen, I'm not going to say people didn't know, but shoot, because there are people that knew. I mean, I, you know, it's just not like probably as major as, you know, I ain't, what, who, who, who's selling records right now? Who's the freaking Rihanna somebody? Yeah, they said, I ain't no freaking Rihanna. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> I but there, people, there were people that, there are people that know, and, um, you know what I mean? We're slowly even still in the still in the process of um, promoting it as we speak. I'm I'm on the road as we speak, doing um shows. I'm getting ready to go over to Australia in a few weeks. I know and this do some right. more shows and go to Europe. That's where I pretty much spent most of my career uh, overseas. You right. know what I mean? I that, tour and I stay on the road more than I do anything. That's where the money is. Go ahead and say it. Huh? That's where the money is. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that's where it's been. So, um, you know, that's, that underground following, right? the way I was saying that, that fan base that, that's been with me for the longest, they know. They and love soul folks, music you know? in the UK, though. They love it. They do, they do. That's what Amy Wine And they have an appreciation <laughs> for it, too. So, I mean, you know, um, people are aware. I mean, of course, you want it to be even bigger than what it is. But, hey, you know, I'm, I'm happy that the people that know know and the people that don't know will know. Right. Well, you know, Leela, um, I'm about to ask you a question. You can answer it if you want, and you can decline to answer it if you want. But there's been a big hoopla about your age and you being the youngest diva on the show. Have you heard? Any, what, have, have you read any of the comments or got any tweets about that, or is this your first time hearing it? Yeah, this is my first time hearing it. That's funny. No. Oh, oh yeah, it's been a big hoopla. I don't really. Uh, about you know, that. Pay attention to all that stuff. Yes. Really, just being a mama. Um, yeah, but, and, but, and living a real life. About that. But um, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. So what, what what they say? How old they say I am? Well, well, <laughs> well Google. IBM says you were every bit of thirty one. For real? Yes. <laughs> so, oh, also, that's a lie. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> well, listen. Compa but let me tell you like this. I'll take that though. <laughs> well, well, then listen. But well, Google yourself and Google your age and you'll see what we're talking about. But compared to Google and IBM, you are, you're every bit of 31, 32. And you're the youngest. Okay. And then it's Claudette and Lil Mo and Up. Mm. No, Michelle. Oh, well, I, um, I, I know I ain't the youngest, so I'll just clear that with us right okay. there. But they're cute if they want to make me the youngest. I think that I do have a young spirit. Mm -hmm. you, I think I got a young and old spirit, actually. No, you cannot just eat food. Uh, <laughs> what, <laughs> what do you, what, how do you feel about being compared to Oprah? Well, being not compared yes, to Oprah. You do everybody's saying Oprah. you look like a baby Oprah. Winfrey. I'm not. Now that's why I have her, and I think that's cool. I just want to look like her money too. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I'm mad at it. Well, listen. I know, we know you're trying to feed your daughter and everything. So before we let you go, I do have this one last question. What yeah. can What can we expect next week on the reunion? Ah. Uh, because I don't think. <laughs> uh, you don't want to get in trouble. I thought I was going to get something out of you. Nah, y'all not to watch. Y'all not to watch. But I will say it, 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 you will be very entertained. 
Well, it was interesting. It was an interesting experience. Well, I can't wait to see how the you know coins fall where they may. But I also want to thank you for being real and you know let, and calling in on us. We didn't have to go through nobody. We went straight through you. I appreciate that. You know, call my publicist or call my <laughs> manager. I said, Lila, <laughs> I said, Lila, would you like to call into the show on Wednesday at? Um, eleven fifteen. You said sure. I gave you my number and you called. I love that it was just so simple as that, and I appreciate that. So thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You. No doubt. Thank y'all for even um taking the time out too. Yep. It's all good. Cause Kevin, you know you be woo, you be going there, boy. But you know I love you, though. You know I love you. It took me. No, I know. It's it took me a couple like weeks because I was like, I don't know, Dennis. I don't know. But. <laughs> It's but, all good. I get it. I get it. I get it. But it's all love too, y'all. Yeah. I appreciate y'all supporting, even watching the show. Well, you know we was gonna watch because that's my. Sh I love the R&B Divas franchise. Something that I hope yeah. is that it's come on more than once a year. Maybe uh, come on one part of the year, take a break, and come back. Cause once a year ain't cool, especially for y'all. Cause y'all got ten weeks to be relevant, and then. That's it to me. So I hope that you know you and I know you enjoy being on the show, but I do hope that you take it to the next level with this new exposure being on the show. Yeah, I'm doing my best, and um, I feel like I said uh, I appreciate y'all supporting my channel. Y'all supporting me, and I appreciate y'all supporting me watching the show, whatever. And I'm I'm just gonna continue to try to do what I've been doing, and some, That's and right. just make make good music. You know what I mean? And hopefully, you know, um, expand the audience. And take things to the next level. I'll do my best. All right. Take care, Leela. Okay, y'all have a good night. I'm about to get this little girl in the bed and get me some sleep, too. Okay, good night, Leela. Good night. Good night. Take right. care. Can't get up. <coughs> Ooh, I was holding that at the end. That cough. <coughs> yeah, but... <coughs> excuse me. I, at the end of the day, because this is the last... Um, well, this is not the last video, but the season is over. We just got the two reunion specials. I I hear and I read everything that you guys say in the comments, and especially Kevin, and I get it, and I understand where you guys are coming from. I understand that you guys are coming from watching this show. And where I come from, I'm coming from watching the show and knowing what I know and seeing the bigger picture. I feel like we have to be considerate. Yes, we're going off what we see, but at the end of the day, we're not getting everything that we're seeing is is things that but are still not enough is it still enough to make you turn up like that? No, but it's things that are hap that is happening and is being said that we don't see. And that's all I'm seeing. Shante is smart. And yeah, Shante, let me tell you something. I give Shante that Shante is smart because she but, she, 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 she she did that. She did that. She and I believe she was real strategic on doing stuff off camera and then letting the ladies react on camera and she's standing there looking like a deer court head, like, huh? What? Huh? But she tried it when she gonna say, "Oh, y'all supposed to be church girls, but y'all out here cussing." But Chrisette pulled her card. But oh, you and your whole church family got out that van and got drunk before y'all went in there and had service. So like, come on now, like it is what it is. But try to. I feel like last week, you know, Lil Mo called and Lil Mo said that it was things that we didn't see. This happened off camera. Shante called this person gay. Shante, you know, jumped in um, Michelle A's face. Leela called in, said the same exact thing, or oh, it's things that we're not seeing that, you know, more than one person isn't going to say the same thing and be wrong. That's but you all know what? I'm it's saying. Still not, it's still not enough for me to hate Shantae. Oh, I, and they still look They petty. don't hate Shantae. Look, they don't hate her, but they look petty. I'm talking about Mo. Mo in particular, because Mo is the one that really got it out for Shantae. She looks petty. Chrisette just had an issue. But she just let it bore you over and kept dwelling on it and let it depress her. Like, girl, ain't nobody got time for that. You should have said something to her right there. Mm -hmm. Just like how you snapped back at Claudette, you should have snapped back at Shantae. Right then and there. All of that whole knowing nobody got time for that. I wanted to, um, on Sunday, I went to a showcase. Um, this, um, this young lady, her name is Kayla Infinity. I met her mother at the Scorpion Show cookout, and when you say real, recognize real, her mom was so nice, so humble, and she was telling me, you know, about her daughter and how her daughter helped the homeless and how her daughter sleep out in the middle of the night to wake up in the morning to feed the homeless. So um, she invited me to the showcase. On Sunday, I went to um, 
has showcased. Her name is Kayla Infinity. She is from um, Philadelphia, born and raised, and she's a very humble, smart, sweet young lady. Her, her, one of her songs is actually the theme song for Philadelphia Hospital, University of Pennsylvania for cancer patients, you know, to you know, encourage them to get better and help them, you know, through their chemo and everything. And also today is her birthday, so I just want to shout out um, Kayla Infinity. Um, that's Infinity with an E. Y'all can um, look her up on Instagram, YouTube, or and Twitter. And I just want to tell her that I wish her nothing but the best, and the girl really got skills. She can really sing and dance. This is no mediocre stuff. Like, she's going to be somebody. So, happy birthday, Kayla. And happy birthday, girl. And... Good luck on your music. And, and I hope you bought that for me, right? Hello. Is this for me? Okay. And it's not. I know that's right. Well, I'm definitely going to uh, put it on my uh, my iTunes and I'll be listening to it. Yeah. Hopefully it's some... And she sampled one of Janet Jackson songs, too. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it yeah. better be good. It's, 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 it's good. Don't just be saying no, that. No, like it's, it's good. Like you know, I mean, she didn't like she didn't take one of Janet Jackson songs and remake it, but it's like um, you know how Rihanna did. Mama say, Mama say, Mama. It was like a little sample. It's a little. It's a sample of Janet. And I guess I'll know it when I hear it. Don't even tell me what song. It is. I know when I hear it. So y'all know. I know y'all gonna curse that out on this video. But uh, hey, <laughs> curse me out for what? They curse you out every week. They do. But thank y'all for watching. I got to get ready to go to bed. So, yeah, I ain't mean to say that on camera, but it's late at night. So, we're going to get up out of here. We will see y'all next week for the reunion. Then for the part two reunion. And the R&B Divas franchise is over with. Hmm. This has been, Just what, 20 watching. weeks? Tell oh my God. We're going to be watching, y'all. And thank you all for watching. Whether you agree, disagree, thank you all for, like, tuning in and watching, you know. Yeah, and y'all have a good night, and y'all be safe. Deuces! Thank you for...